Hi there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins. I wanted to look with you now at periodic and trigonometric functions. Let's start by defining a function that's periodic. If a function is periodic, it's easiest to see it by looking at its graph, because it'll have a graph that is a repeating pattern, and it continues indefinitely. One such example of this type of periodic function is the sine curve, y equals the sine of x. So the sine function would be a periodic function. If you look at the graph here, you can see how it has the same pattern that keeps repeating. And as you can also see by the graph and the arrows here, it does go on indefinitely. So this trig graph and trig function would be an example of a periodic function. Now let's look at a couple of terms relating to periodic graphs. And when you look here, you see that, first of all, the repeating portion, or the shortest repeating portion, the part that keeps going over and over, that's the cycle. Let's take a look here at the sine curve. Now, it doesn't matter where we start. I'm going to go ahead and start here. We have one that goes up one curve, and then we have one curve that goes down. Now, this highlighted part here is our cycle because that's the shortest thing, and it keeps repeating over and over. As we look here again, we'll have that exact same thing repeated. Now, the period is going to be the length of each cycle. You can see, starting here at 0, one cycle lasts, in this case, for the sine curve. The period, then, is going to be 2 pi because it takes 2 pi to have complete one cycle. Now, look at that in relationship to a different curve. What if we have this one here, where we have y equals the cosine of x? This would be another example of another trigonometric function that is periodic. It does go on indefinitely. It also has a cycle, a part that keeps repeating. But I want you to take a look at the graph that we have here. It's a little bit different looking than a sine curve is, though has a lot of similarities, too. What do you think is going to be the period of y equals the cosine of x? Make your choice from a, b, or c at the bottom of the screen. Let's take a look at one of the cycles here. Let's go ahead and highlight this one, and we'll start again here at 0. So we go down like this, and then we go up like that. Now that's going to repeat again, exactly the same thing there. So we can see that one cycle looks like this. Now we could have started that over here and it would look exactly the same, but you can see that it repeats and what is the period? Well, you were right, it's 2 pi. So I hope that this has helped you a little bit in looking at briefly at periodic and trigonometric functions. If you need any more help with this kind of algebra homework or with these specifically these types of things in looking at trig and periodic functions. You should sign up for Nutshell Math. I'll see you there.